Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Ishan Sharma. I am currently working as a data science intern at the Sparks Foundation. Uh, today I am making this video as it is the part of the internship. Uh, okay. So the task uh, I am going to do today is a prediction using supervised machine learning. So in this uh, regression task, we will predict the percentage of marks that a student is expected to score based upon the number of hours they studied. This is a simple linear regression task as it involves just two variables. Our main aim of this project is to uh, find out what will be the predicted score if a student studies for 9.25 hours a day. Okay. So in this simple linear regression, first of all, we will import all the libraries uh, like pandas, matplotlib, pyplot, and numpy. Pandas allows us to analyze big data and make conclusions. Okay. And then this matplotlib, pyplot is useful to make graphs. And uh, numpy uh, library is used to work with arrays. And then this percentage matplotlib uh, uh, space in line will be used to uh, draw a line uh, between the graph okay and then we will just read the data set so the data set is there in this uh, url so we are storing it in the url variable and then later on in the s underscore data variable and then we are just printing the you know string data imported successfully if everything above is done successfully and then this s underscore data dot head to uh, see our first 10 rows of the data set. Now we will be plotting the graphs and uh, we will be making uh, on the x axis the hour studies, on the y axis the percentage score. So, and this hour versus percentage uh, title is given by this code. And this uh, uh, these uh, dots uh, came because of this s underscore uh, data dot plot x is equals to hours, y is equals to scores. As you can see, uh, there is a positive uh, linear relationship between hours studies and percentage score. As the hours are increasing, the percentage score is also increasing. So now uh, we will divide the data set into independent feature and dependent feature. In our data set, uh, we have hours studied and percentage score. So in the x, we are scoring the hours a student uh, have studied and in the y we are storing uh, the percentage score okay and this i lock is the full form is integer location and it is from the pandas library and uh, its work is to call the data uh, we can manipulate like this minus one and one and we can differently call the data okay and then we will just train test and split so in this machine learning algorithm, uh, we will train the data first and then apply or whatever the our model uh, has learned from that uh, training data set, we will apply the same on the test data to find out uh, like what are the predicted values. Okay. And later on we will compare. Okay. So here this is this is all is syntax like uh, x underscore train x underscore test. And uh, we have used this library sklearn.model underscore selection uh, to do this uh, train underscore test underscore split. Here the size uh, we chose as uh, 0 0.20 which means 80% of the data will be trained and 20% will be tested. And this random state is equals to 0 I have chosen. If you choose the same like the value of random state is equals to 0 then most probably you uh, your data will be uh, splitted in the same way. Here uh, I have used this x underscore uh, not underscore x dot shape uh, which is used to find out the rows and columns in the data. Okay similarly for this x underscore train and x underscore test y underscore train and y underscore test. Now we are standardizing the data set. Why we are doing this uh, we uh, usually do scaling if you know there is a lot of distance between uh, you know the points uh, in the row so here we are doing it and now we will just standardize the uh, that distance basically there won't be a lot of distance in that particular row 
so in that scalar variable we are saving this standard scalar open bracket now we are seeing the first five rows of the x underscore uh, train now we will uh, in the x underscore train uh, variable we will store this scalar dot fit underscore train so scalar came from the above library we just did the fit will calculate the mean and uh, standard deviation of x train and transform will apply that okay and in the x underscore test is equals to scalar dot transform here we haven't used fit because uh, earlier we have already uh, used fit to find out the mu and sigma so there is no need to do do that again okay here uh, transform will simply apply that uh, z score uh, and z score you know uh, uh, requires mean and sigma which is already being calculated now we will be plotting the scatter plot between x train and y train uh, why we are doing it again because here we have standardized the data so you can see uh, on the x-axis it is varying from minus 1.5 to 1.5 only Okay. Now we will train the simple linear regression model and for that uh, as the title of our uh, or as I have mentioned above that we will be using linear regression, simple linear regression. So from the sklearn dot linear underscore model library we have imported linear regression. In that uh, regressor variable we have uh, stored this linear regression open bracket. Now we are just fitting our x train and y train as i mentioned uh, early 80 percent of the data will be training data and 20 percent will be testing data so here we are using this linear regression uh, which we have stored in this uh, regressor library okay now we will find out the regression coefficient of the uh, slope uh, or I should say we will find out the slope or coefficient of ours which is 24.634 uh, 3.118 the command for that is regressor dot coef coef underscore and we will also find the intercept so uh, there is a formula like h theta x is equals to theta naught plus theta 1 x so theta naught here is intercept and theta 1 is slope which we have calculated here now we will plot the scatter plot scatter plot of x train and y train uh, here we have made that regression line okay like plt uh, dot plot uh, like this regression line uh, shows us the predicted value the y cap and like from this point this is the actual value and this is the predicted value so our main aim is to uh, minimize the distance between the predicted value and the uh, like this is the predicted value and this is the actual value. So that's our main goal and Yes Now the prediction of the train data. So the predicted score output like this is the formula uh, is equals to intercept plus uh, Coefficient hours, okay, so like here uh, we have like the predicted score we have as y underscore prid uh, which is equals to uh, theta naught which is intercept plus theta 1 which is slope into x1 which is the input variable and this uh, prediction of the test data which is predicted scores output is equals to intercept which is theta naught plus theta 1 which is slope x1 okay this is for prediction of train data and this is for prediction of test data. These values like 53.95 which we, we have already found out above which is the like theta 1 this 53.95 is the value of slope or theta 1 and this 24.634 is the value of theta naught or the intercept. Okay. Now we will predict the score. We will predict the uh, y test score. So for that we will use this x underscore test and after that we will just compare the actual value and the predicted value. So the actual value is this y underscore test and this y underscore pred underscore uh, test is predicted based upon this x underscore test. So here is the actual and predicted value. So 
it is like 2016.88 yeah so it's like that now we will make a scatter plot of x underscore test and y underscore test here also we will make a regression line okay after that uh, we will check uh, how good our model is and for that we will use this performance matrix a matrix matrix and for that we have msc that is mean square error uh, mae mean absolute error and rmsc and then r square and adjusted r square so to check all of these values we will use this sklearn dot matrix library and from uh, from that we will import mean under uh, underscore squared underscore error mean underscore absolute underscore error and now in the mse variable we will use the the command to find out the value of msc and ma and rmse and we will then just print all these values and this is uh, you can see 21.5 approximately the mse 4.18 uh, is uh, ma approximately and 4.64 is rmse approximately so basically this is error and our goal is to uh, minimize that okay now we will find the value of r square so the r square value it should be good the more the value the better our model is and it's formula is uh, r square is equals to 1 minus ssr upon sst r square is coefficient of determination uh, ssr and uh, sum of square of residual sst uh, basically uh, we are just telling the full form okay and SST is total sum of squares and then from this uh, SKLN dot matrix we will import R2 square and uh, in the score variable we will uh, store this R2 underscore uh, score and yeah so basically we will then just write score uh, and we will find out the score which is like 0 0.94 which is pretty good then we will find out the value of adjusted r square the formula of adjusted r square is given like uh, 1 minus uh, square bracket then open bracket 1 minus r square into n minus 1 divided by n minus k minus 1 where r2 is the uh, r2 score and uh, n is the number of observation and k is the number of predictor uh, variables okay uh, there is one more fact like in interviews it is always uh, asked like is there any difference between adjusted r square and r square so the value of r square uh, is always greater than the value of adjusted r square so this can be one of the difference and after that we will just display the value of adjusted r square which is 0 0.92 which is you can see is less than uh, the value of r square then uh, earlier we have saved uh, linear regression in this uh, regressor variable so we are just uh, putting that or writing that again or coding that again now our goal was to find out the percentage score for uh, a person who studies 9.25 hours a day so in this scaled uh, underscore hour variable uh, we will put this scalar uh, dot transform and uh, in the two square brackets we will put 9.25 just to make it two dimensional okay and after that we will just find out the value basically we are just scaling 9.25 into some smaller number okay now we will just print the uh, value of or the i should say the percentage marks a person will get who, who has studied uh, 9.25 hours so now here again we will check the assumptions to see how good or bad our model is so we will make the scatter plot of y test and y underscore uh, pred test so here you can see now so as we have made the graph now this is residuals so one more thing I want to tell if the scatter plot is linear, this means the prediction are good. So it is uh, like very close to linear. So I think uh, it is good. 
and after that we will find out the value of residuals residuals is the basically its formula is the actual minus predicted so here you can see y underscore test minus y underscore pred underscore test so we will find out the value of residuals which is this okay now we will plot the graph of this residual and for that uh, we will uh, use seaborn library and here we are using this dist plot okay for the residuals so like if the graph is very close to normal uh, then we can say the model is like very close to accuracy uh, but it is uh, as you can see it is a little bit left skewed uh, which is fine again it is not like best but again uh, it is approximately normal so we can say it's good and then in uh, that scatter plot with respect to predictions and residuals okay so here our goal is if it is like uniformly distributed then uh, we can also say like our model is good uh, and in this case it is uh, very much so so yes uh, that's it uh, from my end and that was my task for the grip foundation and uh, if you like the video, uh, please uh, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.